If you're experiencing dizziness or balance problems, you may come into a laboratory where we do various types of vestibular testing. One of the more specialized tests that we do is called rotational chair testing or rotary chair testing. This is a more common test available in major medical centers or universities, and so it could be a test you encounter as you are on your way to discovering the site of your vestibular disorder. The equipment behind us is a typical rotational chair, and I'll have my colleague Amanda demonstrate what that setup is like so you know what to expect when you're coming in for this sort of testing. All patients are put into a harness just to keep them secure. We'll then also have them wear a set of headphones so that we can communicate throughout the testing. Now these goggles are pretty special. They're infrared cameras so that they allow us to record eye movements even in the dark. Uh, so these cameras are vital to what we're doing to record how the inner ear is working in this test protocol. The important part of testing in rotary chair is to record what the eyes are doing. Head movement creates additional noise that can make the data unreadable. From here, the chair will oscillate. And oscillations can vary in different speeds, but will go no faster than 50 or 60 degrees per second. So it's similar to sitting in a chair at your office desk, just rotating, oscillating, back and forth. Rotational chair testing can be done in many different ways, but the most common way is to look at different speeds of motion uh, at that slower speed. So most patients aren't spun around like a top. We're just looking at how well they respond to this movement. Testing in rotational chair does require you to be in the dark. So for this testing, I would turn out the lights and also close the doors to the enclosure to ensure that there's no light getting into the room. This testing has to be done in the dark. It's the only way that we can record the eye movement that we need to know that the inner ears are working as they're supposed to. If we were to test this with your eyes in the light, we wouldn't get a response and really wouldn't know if your ears were working or not. I know that this equipment can look intense and can look a bit scary. The important part to remember about this is that we're moving you at speeds that are normal for your everyday life. They're speeds that you're always moving your head to try to keep your good visual stability and are important for you to be able to maintain normal balance. They shouldn't make you feel dizzy or nauseous, maybe a little bit funny, but that's pretty normal. For those patients who do get motion sick, there can be some discomfort and feeling a bit nauseous with this task, but it quickly passes. Overall, this test takes maybe 10 minutes and is something that provides us some very valuable information on how the ears work both individually as well as together and integrate into your brain for balance function.